I know I'm getting old, but I really thought I had like another 10 years before I started feeling like a boomer. Because Super Mario Bros. Let's jump right into it. Video game movies have been coming out more recently, and they're pretty hit or miss. They're definitely doing better now than they were back in 1993 or whatever the original Mario came out. But they're doing pretty good. And one thing that's definitely helping that is the nostalgia, but also just the advances in technology. And that leads me straight to my first pro. This movie's gorgeous. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Some of the best animation like you can ever imagine. It's an illumination film. So look at Minions and then make it better. And that's the animation. I mean, it is truly beautiful. Every character is incredibly expressive. The scene is just almost too colorful and too in-depth. It's just that jaw-dropping. Gotta give them credit where it's due. This is a stunningly beautiful visual film. Another pro. Characters. I think they went above and beyond getting voice actors. They probably spent too much money. Because at the end of the day, this is just a cartoon. Animated film. This is not... Like you don't need Chris Pratt to be your lead VA. However, let's give them credit where credit's due. They did a good job. Everyone did a good job. Some people went above and beyond. I'd love to highlight Jack Black as Bowser and Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach. Truly crushed the role. Another thing to highlight is really just how great the soundtrack was as well. I mean, there was some very, very popular songs in there. And sure, that doesn't make a film. But it really helps, I think, for a film like this where it is literally nonstop action. I think the soundtrack really, you know, it kept the movie on pace. It kept the movie, you know, in its, in its same sort of flow, and it didn't change throughout the film, and I can appreciate that. However, leading me to my first column, what I have a hard time appreciating, there is zero downtime in this film. Zero. As soon as you sit in your seat, it is nonstop. There is no pauses in dialogue. There's no like dramatic effect on people saying things or doing things. It is instant. As soon as a word finishes the end of a sentence, it's jumping to the next scene almost abruptly. And for the first like 20 minutes, that was no very noticeable for me. Um, you know, I kind of got used to it throughout the film. But that was... A little bit of a jarring experience, something I didn't really expect. Non-stop. Dialogue was very quick. Um, no, it almost felt like conversations were awkward. They were so fast. And yes, I get it. This movie's made for kids. Okay, this is what I'm saying. I think I'm a boomer now. It was, well, it's a good film. Though. It was very, very fast-paced. There was, there was no normal pacing in the film. That, that threw me off a little bit. Not much to deduct off of, but that really made me feel old. Another con, I said I love the VAs, and I did. But I really noticed Chris Pratt throughout the whole film. But Chris Pratt in this film really did not help with my overall involvement in the film. It often felt like I really struggled to get past like the surface level just because Chris Pratt was the VA. Mario did fine, and he did fine as Mario, and they give you like a little background on what characters are supposed to sound like and why they're supposed to sound like that. And I get it. But to me and probably most people, it's Mario. And I just I don't think he was the right choice. He did a okay job. However, I would have been happier with possibly some other options. Let me also though highlight I did say again, VAs are really good. And the plot was good. But what I had a hard time with is that this movie is really just about Bowser and Princess Peach. They carried the film. They were the main characters. It felt like their roles were there almost just to justify Mario and Luigi. 
Princess Peach and Bowser were phenomenal. Bowser, I, Jack Black stole the show in reality. And I don't know if that's maybe, you know, people are like, oh, I expected that. We, okay. But he did an incredible job. And then Princess Peach was just probably one of the best, was probably the best character in the film, though. She was awesome. You got to give her props for that. So it felt like they were there only to validate Mario and Luigi being on screen. The movie's good. Sure, I do feel like I'm finally a boomer who can complain about these damn kids these days. It's, it's rough. It is. The movie's an hour and 30 minutes. Oh, also, the movie flies by. Probably because it is legitimately nonstop action. If you watch it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that because it really, to me, it was almost jarring. There was no downtime, but the movie was good. Credit where credit's due, I enjoyed it. As a self-proclaimed movie critic, I don't think I could give it more than like a seven. It was fine. You can find enjoyment. I definitely laughed. I definitely giggled. There was some funny stuff. And for nostalgia-wise, there's things on screen that I can appreciate. That any Mario fan can appreciate. Personally, I, I'm going to be honest. I think personally I'm sitting around a 7 as well. Maybe a 6.5. It, it didn't do it for me, but it did something for me. I've seen worse, and I can appreciate the effort. Truly was beautiful. Truly did have some amazing voice acting. As I mentioned, the expressiveness in these animated characters was almost unreal. So, there you have it. Like a 7. Is it worth seeing? Don't rush to the theaters. But yeah, I'd watch it. I'd definitely see it on the big screen, though. I do think that is almost a necessity because of how great it's going to look on there compared to your at-home TV. That's it for the Mario review. I guess I'll see you next time for air. Really looking forward to that.